I feel like a lot of these I'm gonna dislike, oh no. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jessie the Sleepy Koala and welcome back to another Vlogmas video. I am so excited for today because I get to do the second tier ranking video that I wanted to do over Bookmas and I am still very excited after doing my last one because I find them very fun. This video is also going to be every book I read in 2021 but this time I'm going to be roasting some covers instead. So you get to get my opinions of whether these covers are good or not. Okay, so as with my last tier video, I will be going through every single book that I have read in 2021 up till the start of December. That includes any book that I was reading as of the start of December as well, not just the ones that were finished, also the ones I was reading. But unlike the last video, th this one is just me going through and telling you which covers I think are really pretty and which ones I do not like. My five categories are top tier aesthetics, super pretty, no opinion, not my taste, and dislike. First up, we have a book that is accidentally in this list twice because I'm using the exact same folder of covers as I did for last time. We've got White Smoke, which I actually really like as a cover. I think it is a great cover to pull people in with, and I think it is rather evocative of what is in the book itself. Also, it is great that it highlights from the get-go that the characters in this book are not white and the main character is not white. So you don't need to wait till you get to description to know that the main character is black. You just know from the get-go. It's on the cover. So I really like that. I appreciate that. I'm going to put this as super pretty. The next one is A Winter's Promise. I find this cover really gorgeous and also very intriguing because what does it mean? A floating city in the sky? That's a pretty interesting pull into a story as to why you should read this and what you will learn and find out about. And I just, I love the blue. I love the wraparound of the text with the ribbon. I think is great. This is top tier aesthetics. Alley of Lore. So I really dislike a lot of the US branding covers. This one included. So this one is just going straight into dislike because I think I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I think there are better covers out there for these books. Neo Gaiman, American Gods. I honestly don't have an opinion on this one. There's, there's nothing for me to say. I have no opinion. An absolutely remarkable thing. This one I'm realizing that I maybe should have had another category between like not my tastes and dislike of things that were meh but oh well. So I guess this is going into dislike. I think it's really boring and kind of dull and it could have done with something else on the cover besides giant writing. Five Dark Fates. So there are actually two sets of covers for these books. I have the ones that are not these and the ones that I have are much better because they have very similar themes to them, but they have bright splashes of color as well, which really, really stand out on the covers. And it's like the whole black and white world, but then you have a splash of red. It's similar to that idea. And I think that works really well to draw the eye to the covers, whereas this is just kind of like blending together for me. So this is going to be a dislike. I feel like a lot of these I'm going to dislike. Oh no. Anxious people. Uh, I don't quite know what to say with this one. My immediate gut instinct is I dislike it. I just don't know why. I guess I don't like the color. I don't like the yellow color. I think mustard yellow is a bad color. And I also don't find two people with their backs to me to be very entertaining or tell me why I should pick this book up. There, There's very little there that compels me to pick up this book. Aurora Rising. So I very much dislike this book, but I very much do like the cover. I love this art style. I think it's super pretty. I am interested to know who this is. Caravel. Oh my gosh. So I love this cover so much. It's interesting because Hank Green's book just has the writing and some slight background and this book's the same but I think the difference is that this one has a lot more stylized writing and I think that that 
is very interesting and it's also very evocative to the type of themes I think of the book. Like the writing, the fun style in this combined with the word caravel makes me think of a carnival. It's very on brand so I really like it. I also really like the starburst in the background. Also I found a different cover set for the trilogy the other day and it was gorgeous oh my gosh I loved it it was much more a hand-drawn feeling for the covers and they were a light color and then on the side there was the stripes in the way that remind me of a big top tent so I thought that was great this one I'm gonna say top tier aesthetic because I think it's great chain of gold and chain of iron uh let's treat these two together I like Chain of Gold more. I like them both. I really like that Cassandra Clare has had this running theme since she started publishing the, like, since she published the Mortal Instruments of what the covers look like. And there's new versions of the covers, but I, as someone who has been buying the books since the original trilogy came out, very much appreciate the consistency that she has had with all of her other series, except for one, where the covers have these people on them in this style and you can't see their faces. I really like that. I've always liked the covers because of that and I really enjoy that she's still doing it as of now. I'm gonna say the top tier aesthetic is Chain of Gold because that color of Cordelia's hair combined with the leaves just looks amazing. And the Chain of Iron, I'm gonna go super pretty just because I'm not I think there's moths on it and I'm not the biggest fan of moths. Like I don't dislike them, I just don't think they look very nice. So I'm gonna say that that one can be super pretty. Chobits, so I, I think manga is gorgeous, this has got to go top tier aesthetic. I would put every cover for the Chobits series of all the different volumes top tier aesthetic because I think they're gorgeous. I think they're so gorgeous. I'm going to put this into dislike because I'm not the biggest fan of the ancient Greek style pottery drawings and artwork, so I'm just going to put that there. Crooked Kingdom, I think this is super pretty. I really like the Crooked Kingdom cover and I really like the Six of Crows cover. There is incredible paper art online of someone who has combined the the crow from Six of Crows and the crow from Crooked Kingdom into one and then has got the characters in each book on each side kind of representing what they were doing in the book. It is incredible, like absolutely incredible. I'll see if I can find it and link it in the description because honestly everybody should see this. It is such a piece of art. And this person, I, can't, I don't know who they are off the top of my head, they're on Tumblr. They do a lot of these things and I love the other ones they've done. If you're a Mistborn fan, there is one of Vin with coins going out around her that you might have seen. Same person, incredible. But I'll, I'll find their Tumblr and I'll link it in the description because it's so good. Okay, so onto Cytonic. I really like the UK covers of the Skyward series over the US covers. I don't particularly like this cover very much. So I'm going to put this as not my taste. I don't dislike it. It just doesn't quite hit the mark for me. The girl with the dragon tattoo, uh, this is going to go into dislike because again I think that's not a great colour of yellow and I overall think that this cover is rather plain. Dread Nation is something that, uh, where will I put it? I'm gonna go not my taste. Again, I really like that this cover has a black character on it. You know going in, and honestly you should if you've read the description, you know going in the main character is black and that helps, I know me because I picture characters in my head, uh, I know immediately this character is black, don't, uh, don't automatically white coat this character in your head. So that's really helpful for me. But I don't like the art style very much, so I'm going to say that this isn't my taste because the art style is perfectly fine, I think there's nothing wrong with it, it's just not my type of art style. Everyone in this room will someday be dead. Yes, I got the name the first time. Uh, this, I don't know. 
I don't know where to put this. I'm gonna go with maybe no opinion because I don't really have much of an opinion on this one. It's just, I think I did pick up this book based on the cover, but I, there's nothing about it that jumps out to me is what I should say. The Guinevere Deception, this is not my taste again because of the art style. I like the overall idea of it, but the art style just isn't my type of jam. King of Scars, I'm also gonna go is not my taste. It's fine. I don't think it's bad. I don't dislike it, but it just doesn't quite vibe with me. Lore. Oh my gosh. This seems to be a theme where the books that I didn't like, I loved the cover for. And I guess that's kind of the thing, is you pick up books because of covers you like and then happen to dislike them. So Lore is super pretty. Uh, actually, this is top tier aesthetic. I picked up this book because of this cover and I was drawn in immediately. I was so interested in this book based off this cover and then the synopsis as well. Mistborn. So this is another one of Brandon's books that I dislike the cover for. I just, I don't like them. I don't think they make good covers. I, I think they're way too busy. I, I just, I just don't like them. I can't say anything else except I just don't like them. Never Night. Again, another book that I really disliked, but good god, the cover is so pretty. I knew I was never gonna buy Never Night, but I was in a coffee shop and it had one of those free libraries in it. And I saw it there. And the thing is, there's this cover and then there's another cover. And the other cover is just fine. But I really like this cover. So even though I didn't like the book, I don't want to get rid of it because I think it's pretty and I could have a pretty thing. One Dark Throne is same as Five Dark Fates. It's just kind of dull and boring and blends into each other. So th there's nothing about it that makes me want to pick it up because I just see like vague brown shape and that's it. Orphea is one I picked up based on the cover and also the fact this was a hard cover like really helped. It's gorgeous. I know I said before that I'm not the biggest fan of moths and honestly this is still one that I'm not the biggest fan of the moth artwork but the overall aesthetics are beautiful and it's just gorgeous. Another book that I picked up because of the cover over Raging Tides. I love this art style so much. It's so pretty and I 100% saw it. I was like, well, I guess I'm reading this one and just happened to also like the synopsis. But oh God, this, this book and the other books in the series are gorgeous and they're all this art style as well. Persephone Station is pretty, super pretty. I do like this art style and I am intrigued by what looks like a very sci-fi character. Putin, Prisoner of Power, I have very little opinion on. It's very generic, I guess, but I don't really care either way. There's not, it's not like you can do all that much for an audio series. It's called Putin, Prisoner of Power, so it seems to fit fit what it is. Read on. So I'm gonna put this one here. So even though I like the UK editions more of the Skyward series. The US ones are fine. I don't dislike them like I do like pretty much every Cosmere UK cover, but I don't love them either. I do think that the ones for the novellas are better than the base series. I, I think they're just more interesting. And the fact that Redawn has an alien on it instead of a human is definitely in its favor. Rule of Wolves is much like King of Scars. It's fine, I guess. It's just not the most compelling to me. I don't think I would pick these two books up if I didn't have another reason to do so. But they're also a duology that's like three series deep into the Grishaverse. So if I'm picking them up, it's because I've decided to pick them up anyway. So I guess they kind of get a little bit of an easy pass in my mind and I don't dislike them, but I wouldn't pick them up off a shelf randomly to buy them. The Sandman. So this cover is not the one that I was listening to for Audible, but I... It's just not my taste. Like, again, art style, not quite. 
what I like. It's it's fine. I'm sure other people like it. Okay, Shadows of Self, we're just gonna, we're gonna put a hint here. Like with Alloy, like with Mistborn, particularly like with Alloy. It's, it's the same art style. I think it's the same artist. I just don't like it. Six of Crows. You can't see half the crow, but I'll put it up here as well. I, again, it's not something that is super interesting when you first look at it, even though it's evocative of the themes of the book. Just, just seeing it on a shelf, it's not something that draws the eye necessarily. But I do like The Crow, and it might just be that I like the book so much, but I do really like The Crow. And I do like that Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom uh, mirror each other almost. Like, they, they are obviously done by the same artist, and they're done with the same artwork in mind for each other. Starsight. So this one is super pretty of a Sanderson book. This is also the UK cover of Starsight, not the US one. I think this is so cool. Like, I have no idea where she is. Like, why does she have white hair? Like, you kind of, you know it's Spencer because it's a Spencer series. She's the main character and clearly something is going on here and I'm very excited to see what it is that's going on. Sunreach is another one that is a Skyward novella. I think the Redon cover is nicer than the Sunreach cover, but I do think that they're both like pretty, pretty in their own way compared to like some of the other Sanderson covers. Tell Me Lies is super boring as a cover. There's not very much on there that piques my interest, but I also dislike the book so much that it might be that I, that I am being influenced by my hatred of this book. Bands of Morning, gotta round out, oh, I guess I'm putting it there, gotta round out the Era 2 covers of ones I don't like. Again, pretty sure it's the same artist. I don't like it for the same reason. The Girl in Times Square. So I think this is a really good cover. Eh, go up. I actually picked up this book and stole it from my mom because I liked the cover more than anything. I didn't know what this book was really about until I read it this year. I took it from my mom 10 years ago and it was just, I thought the cover was cool. I, I wanted to know why there was half a face on the cover. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Memory Thief. I did like this cover and I picked this book up because of this cover and because of the, the titling. And I think it's pretty. I don't know what it invokes, but I like the swirliness of it. So I think it's super pretty. The original, I think, has a pretty good cover. It's similar to The Girl in Times Square, where it's like, what is this? half face shenanigan going on. Why do they not look like a human? What's this orange bit? So I do think the cover of the original is pretty good. The Sea and the Sky had an awesome cover and an awesome name and was not very awesome. <laughs> I did really like this, this audio series as well based on the cover. I started reading it because of that. It seemed super cool and sci-fi and I thought the cover was very evocative of sci-fi. This Poison Heart is going into Dislike. Again, I do love that there is a, a black protagonist on the cover, and you just know going in that the protagonist is black. So let's just get that out of the way. I don't like the art style very much, and if anything, the, the art style on this gives me the same vibes that the actual book does, where it tends towards a a younger audience than what I thought it was going to be. And I do kind of get that from this art style, honestly. Maybe I should have uh, kept that more in mind when I was choosing to read it. Another one of the Three Dark Crown series. Again, it's really dark. It's hard to tell what these things are. There is not very much that's very interesting on this cover. Twilight. Oh, I think, no. I think Twilight has top tier aesthetic cover, okay? It has launched other books to have covers that are similar to Twilight to the point where if you have random things with a red thing on it, people think, hey, is that a Twilight book? So I think the fact that it has been this popular means that it deserves a spot on the top tier aesthetic shelf. I also really like the Twilight books and I love the contrast of the black background with some something else and then the red. I think that that is 
really striking. So I think it's top tier aesthetic. Two Dark Reigns, again, another one of the Three Dark Crown series. It's still hard to see, and I don't know, I just don't like them. Uzumaki, I'm going to say, don't have much opinion on. I didn't really know much about the book and didn't look all that closely at the cover, so I don't really have many thoughts on it. Water for Elephants. So I'm going to say this one... Uh, maybe no opinion... I kind of wish I had some more categories because I don't think this is super pretty, but I don't dislike it and I wouldn't say it's not my taste. I actually have the movie cover personally and I think that's super pretty. I think that's a very nice movie cover. I think this cover is fine. I think it's very evocative of the fact that it's a circus and what's going to happen in the book. So I, it's fine. I don't have many other opinions on it. Miss Bourne. Super pretty. I really love Sam Green's style. I think this is a great portrayal of Vin, and I was very excited to see more of what was in this book based on the cover. Uh, I've hit White Smoke again. This one I'm gonna put... I'll put this one in no opinion again. Again, I think I do have a bit of a positive opinion in it, but I'm not gonna call it super pretty, because I don't think it is. I was really drawn into this book based on the cover. I think the big bold lettering for the title really makes it stand out, like really fits with what the title actually is. Like with the title of Zero Day Code, like that makes me think of apocalypses and catastrophic events in the world. And just the the orange ground in the background, for some reason, just really clicked in with me for that. So. I think this is a pretty good cover. I don't think it's a super pretty cover, so I'm gonna have to go with no opinion. That is my assessment of my 2021 reads of the book cover, of whether I thought they were very pretty or whether I really disliked them. It's not super surprising to me that when there was a series, they basically all ended up in the same category because you would hope that your books across the series are consistent in covers. And some of them, like the Era 2 Mistborns and the Three Dark Crowns quadrilogy, I consistently dislike the covers for. I hope you enjoyed that tier ranking video. I had a lot of fun doing it. These are very fun and also very easy to do. If there's any other tier ranking videos that you would be interested in seeing me do, please let me know in the comments because I do really enjoy doing them. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for another Bookmas video. Bye!